Okay, now that we've dealt with the rule for using sig figs in calculations of addition and subtraction, now, that we're, now we're going to deal with the other rule of using significant figures in calculations where we're multiplying and dividing. Now the rule here is quite different from the one that we just covered. Remember that in addition and subtraction, the rule was interested in where the most precise sig fig was? Well, that's not the case here. In multiplying and dividing, we're interested in the number of sig figs that there are. So, to state the rule, for multiplying and dividing, the answer may only have the smallest number. Smallest number of sig figs. The smallest number of significant figures of any of the numbers used in the calculation. So we're going to have to count sig figs. So let's take a look at example A and B. And if you'd like to do these and give them a shot before I work through them, feel free to pause the video now. And then you can restart when you're done, and I'll show you how I do them. Okay. Let's take a look at example A. This is a multiplication problem. So I'm going to use the rule that says that my answer may only have the smallest number of sig figs of any number that went into the calculation. So let's identify, using my rules, all my sig figs. And it looks like I have five sig figs in my first number. If I look at my second number, those are all leading zeros, so they are not significant. But these three are significant. So my second number has three sig figs. The rule for multiplication, therefore, would say that my answer can have no more than three sig figs. Now, if I plug this in into my uh, calculator, I will get 42.020 times 0 0.00322. And the calculator will give me 0 0.1353044, which is the mathematically correct answer. But it is not the scientifically significant answer. And so therefore, I have to apply my rule, and my rule says that my answer can only be reported to three sig figs. Well, this leading zero is not significant. So my first three sig figs would be that one, that one, and that one. And then I would look at the next digit, and because it is less than a five, it would round down, and so I would report my scientifically significant answer as 0 0.135. Okay, let's take a look at example B. So, again, this is a multiplication or division. This is a division problem. So I'm going to be using the rule for division. Here I plug in my calculation, and I have 0 0.754 negative divided by 290. And I get the answer, the calculated answer, from my calculator, negative 0 0.0026. Well, that is the mathematically correct answer, but what is the scientifically significant answer? The rule says that my answer can only be reported out to the smallest number of sig figs, here I, in this number I have one, two, three sig figs. In this number I have one, two sig figs. And therefore my answer can only be reported out to two sig figs. It just so happens in this case that there are my sig figs right there that my calculated mathematically correct answer is also the scientifically 
significant answer because it's already in two sig figs. And there you go.